let's get start demo first so this is a uh, you know deployment as a deployment series and here what i will do i'll just you know deploy three app one is blazor app one is you know Bla uh, web application using the razor pages and other, another one is web api right so three application we have to deploy using visual studio and if you see like see this is our api which is returning data on after the deployment and same way actually after deployment the web app web app using the razor pages it is working fine over here and similar uh, i also deployed our you know blazor app on the azure app service right and also it is working perfectly fine right and there is a two way i will use first way actually directly create over here as a app service and they will they will actually consume in our visual studio and also other other way uh, there is other mechanism in visual studio itself they have a option directly you can create a app service and you can use and then deploy it right so both are way we will do and uh, before proceeding this session i may especially recommend if you don't have an azure subscription and all so i just create a one one session where actually you can get the free subscription using the sandbox right so you can use it that so go to my you know youtube channel right which is a dot net real world example and check out this guy actually so free of cost of that you know as a subscription and after that also i just show you know many uh, deployment series over here where you can just deploy it using a drag and drop right but here now we have to deploy via usual visual studio let's get uh, start implementation so here uh, just open your azure portal login your azure portal using that sandbox and uh, click app service and here what i will need to do first i just create you no know, web app service so just create and then web app service and simply as a normally just set a resource group and what is the subscription just use the subscription and name it for for example uh, blazor blazor web app via visual studio right so let me make it whatever name you want just make it now i use that code because i'm just pushing the using the code and here uh, whatever dot net framework want to use just use it as of now i'll just use as a windows uh, and uh, keep it whatever your central us so you can keep it so i'll just use it east us and uh, other rest of things i think perfectly fine just click the review now over here just create okay once it's done go to the resource now you are able to see your app service is started and also it is running click on the default domain so once you click different domain you are able to see it is running and betting for your content right so what you need to go go back to your here go to that app service and now you will to see here your you know app service has been created right web app has been created so this is one way actually you can just create from here that also we can expect in our visual studio but directly also we can get that also will show you right so let me open the visual studio and create a new project and choose any blazor web app and choose blazor web app uh, deployment by a visual studio choose next use server one whatever one you can just use you can just use it there is no issue but as of now i will use server click here create once it's created and restored so let me run for locally how's what is that default template now see there is a three three net navigation tab home continue uh, counter and also weather right it is in memory data so let me close it is just for make sure like it is working perfectly in locally once is make sure it is working perfectly what you need to do simply right click on that go to that publish and you will get this uh, pop-up window and there is a many option okay so last time we used that you know direct published one but as of now we'll use directly azure host your application directly in microsoft cloud right use this guy next and here there's other many other uh, template also provide like where you want to uh, you know deploy like you know azure app service on windows azure app service on linux but as of now i just use as on windows so i will use that azure windows so next so once you next it is definitely it is prompt actually now see as of now i just log in with my sandbox account so that's why it is populating over here but if it is whatever your account you can just use it so whatever you know app service and all uh, 
that will get it from here right so whatever uh, app service you are getting over just choose that one which one you want to uh, publish your uh, app so choose that guy finish it will create a profile so pro profile has been created close once you create profile click on that publish folder now see here publish will succeed publish also succeed but here still as a running going on so you have to wait till finish or finish all the you know publishing stuff so wait on this now see publish succeed right and once it's published success it is automatically uh, open your website right so for example this is your successful publish over here you can just click directly over here you will render or it will redirect to your um, site and same site now see is working perfectly with the using publish using the visual studio and also if you go back your uh, azure portal if you go open your web app service and click the default domain also same thing so you can get it over here right so this is way actually you can uh, just publish directly using visual studio and one more way i'll show you now in this time actually ju just i just created you know uh, over here for our web service right instead of create over here visual studio also uh, give that flexibility how we can uh, easily to create directly over there without creating over here right so that also i'll show you but i will use another application uh, for example as of now i use the blazer so now let me create a uh, okay use uh, that one also i uh, use that guy and just create another project uh, this this time i will use for example sp.net core with the razor pages use that guy bab app razor razor pages via visual studio and next choose whatever default things i'll just choose the same thing create once it's done now see again just make sure it is perfect working fine let me set a startup file of this run this application now see it is running perfectly and close that now again do the same process what we have done last time right click publish use that same azure next choose that window and linux whatever you want you can choose it next now see this time again it show if you log in correctly so it will show over here and uh, it will show the previous one right but what i will do now i instead of use the existing one i will i will create new one so how we can create this click click that create new over here if you log in correctly definitely you will get that you know name right it is automatic generated name so you can make it whatever name you want this and now choose your subscription name so this is our you know, sandbox subscription name which is free and use that resource group which is also automatically populated and also hosting plan over over here use the default one or whatever your hosting plan you want you can just create it now click the create so once it will create it now you are able to see this app service over here choose this and finish it now it's completed close that now simply what you need to do click publish now publish has been completed it is just taking a few seconds for actually uh, redirecting your open your page which uh, which is you know deployed over here now see it is deployed our our azure app service and if you click and click that privacy it will redirect over here let me close over here go to your here and just refresh over here go to that azure portal refresh and you are able to see your web apps here second one this is our reserve one which is just created by visual studio and if you click over here you are able to see your app is running over here right so like this is a process actually you can you can build and you can create all that uh, app you can deploy directly using the visual studio same thing you can just create your function or uh, you know that api so let me show you one more for that api uh let me create a new project and create a web api sp.net core web api click using that web api web api deployment via visual studio next use the same once it's created let me go to the solution 
now every package also is reloaded right now this is that your pack uh, project let me set is a startup project this one and check it it is working fine or not for the make sure before deployment so now see it is working and also it is just returning uh, the dummy data right so let me close that again what I need to do simply just a two way uh, you can directly uh, right click on that publish and use this one is or use that windows one or linux one whatever you want and here you can choose the existing one or you can just create a new one right so i'll just create a new one again and make it your app name over here for this and rest of things you can choose whatever you want you can choose it over here create okay once it's created click the next and now little different over here for web api so what you need to do simply you just create a create instance over here just use same api name okay so this is api so that's why it's called a api name so what you need to do simply there is a nothing right api management service so what you need to do simply just click and whatever is default name just choose over here right and also my mail and all organization things is auto populated and also you can use that location let me use that and also api url suffix if you want so you can paste it over here neither you can just keep it simple right i, I just create it again so once it completed you can just choose over here and finish close and now finally publish now publish has been done now see there is a nothing right because see uh, this is api and in this api actually we have the endpoint so what is our endpoint our endpoint is weather forecast right so if you go back in your solution in in here so if you go to that here this is your uh, weather forecast endpoint right get endpoint so let me copy that name what is our endpoint and just pass it to over here once you pass definitely you are able to see your data right so this is actually way uh, this is a slight difference to deployment of api right because it is create your own uh, api management things and then it actually it's deploy and similar you if you go to over here go to that app service now see uh, now it is created one app service over here uh, that is called web api if you go back go to inside now see this is your default default domain and you can just click that guy and uh, you can just pass it to your endpoint and you can just pass it to over here as well and you can just open your postman you can directly call to direct your postman as well let me show you as well that guy so this is my postman let me create a new new request and it is a get request and let me go back to your url so this is my endpoint url and if you pass it over here click the send you will get the data right so this is getting for the after deployment your app web api on the on the azure portal right so like this way actually you can do that easily and uh, that's all for here okay and uh, yeah uh, for one more thing actually i just do that which i just miss every uh, session right everybody asking actually where is the code where is this code so so and uh, now every every session will complete i'll just create a you know github and directly push to our github so that you can aware like okay what is the repository of this session right so that's why now i can just make it a public and this is that name right blazer or just not a blazer it is just a, a azure deployment via visual studio right or all app and create so this is that uh, you know repository name you can check out my git github link and you can get it that that repository right for this session so that's all and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share